What's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of our Madden 20 New York Jets franchise featuring me, Dustin. I'll be your resident gaming dad for the duration of this video. Here is the offseason, guys. It is officially episode 1 of season 2, episode 24 altogether. Smash that like button, guys. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think as far as our re-signs go, our, our free agency goes, and our draft picks go. Let me know your guys' predictions going into week one of the 2020 season. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I have made a few trades ahead of the free agency period. I will let you guys know that right now. Um, we kept a few of the guys that we traded for, and we got rid of others for draft capital um, to replace the people that we are losing here in this off season. So let's get into it. So first off, we are going to resign our punter Jack Fox. He's a 65 overall, but he actually did very, very well for us this year, surprisingly. Uh, this one was a hard one. He did miss our uh, field goal to our. Yeah, our field goal to win the game against the Colts. But because I don't see anybody else better than him in the draft, we are resigning Townsend. We are also going to keep Colby uh, Gossett uh, in case we don't get somebody better to replace him as starter. And then we are keeping Emmanuel Hall. He was used in a limited capacity this year, but hopefully we can expand him more. And then here we are going to re-sign Tyree Jackson. We are going to give him a bit of a bump over what he got last year. So hopefully he does appreciate that. Chandler Cox, he is a step up. Even though he's one overall better than Dimitri, he is a step up as far as his blocking goes, as far as his speed goes, and his strength. So we are going to sign Demarcus Robinson ahead of the draft because we are going to draft one of the top three wide receivers there. Now, we are going to sign DJ Humphreys. I believe he's going to be our starter because I don't believe there's anybody better in the draft. If we do get somebody like Trey Adams or anything else like that, he will go toward our right tackle position. Now, right here, we are going to get Jermaine Ifedi. Um, he's probably going to back up Trey if we get him. I cannot believe Chris Jones is here in free agency. I cannot believe the Chiefs did not resign him. Um, like I did with Jordan, it, it is kind of weird me signing older players because you know they go into regression earlier in Madden 20 than they did in 19. But I cannot pass up on a 90 overall. And surprise, surprise, Kendall Fuller is also in free agency. We can't pass up on this. We literally can't. So we are going to sign him. We're going to take one corner in the draft instead of two. And hopefully our secondary gets that much better. Now we are going to sign the backup for Jamal here. Uh, it's going to be Eric Murray. Um, he's solid enough as a backup to come in if we need him. And then we're going to sign Sue Cravens. As a backup here, I'm expecting to get one of the top safeties, so I don't expect he's going to start. All right, and then with Kendall Fuller, we got to go back and update our offer because we were so low. We came in second. There, we're number one. Hopefully, we get him. And we did get him, guys. Check this out. And he's going to go up one overall right there. He actually went up to a 90. So, congrats. Welcome to the team. Look at this. We got the first pick in the draft. You know where we're going. We're taking the number one receiver overall. We're taking Jerry Judy, baby. Look at that. 79 overall hidden development. I guarantee you he is a, he is not a star development. He is at least a superstar. I can guarantee this. Guaranteed. Because no matter what draft class you download to use in this game, guys, everybody marks him as a superstar. Now, second pick. In this draft, we are going after the best strong safety. No other safety has been taken so far. So Isaiah Simmons is coming to our team. What the hell? 71 overall? Are you fucking kidding me? This guy is so much better than that. 
dude, he better have a superstar development because we need him to develop quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right. Third pick, we are absolutely going after Trey Adams right here, guys. We're absolutely taking him. He is the best tackle in this draft by far, 74 overall. He's a left tackle right now, but I guarantee you by the end of this video, he will be our starting right tackle. Next, we are going to take a corner. We have our top three because we still have Greedy. We got Kendall and we got Trey still. So we're going to take Bryce Hall to be our fourth. 70 overall normal development. We can deal with that. If he doesn't develop, we can draft someone next year. All right. So now we do need a backup running back. Uh, Travis is still here. 74. Thank God. He does not come in over Justice. So Justice is still our starting running back. But we have a nice speller in case Justice gets tired. So here we go. Here is our team going into the 2020 season, guys. We're starting Lamar, right? We are also going to be starting Justice. We do have Travis right behind him, though. So if, if Justice gets tired, we can always run Travis. We got Chandler Cox. He's going to develop more. I can guarantee it. We have Marquise Brown, we have McCole Hardman, we got Jerry Judy, we got Demarcus Robinson, we got Emmanuel Hall, and we got Braxton Berrios. Probably the best receiving core in this league right now. Plus, we still have Evan. DJ Humphreys is going to be our starting left tackle. At our starting left guard, we have John Runnin Jr., barely starting over Colby. Logan Steinberg is going to be our starting center after we move him over from guard. If Fetty, we moved over from tackle, he's going to be our starting right guard. And then Trey Adams is going to round out as our starting right tackle. Just like I said, we also drafted Isaiah Williams. Wilson, not Williams, Wilson to come in after that. We're going to start LeBron Ray, even though he's a 69 overall. Quinn and Williams, yes. And, of course, our big free agent signing. We got Chris Jones as our big nose tackle. Now, we also still have Rashawn Gary as our starting outside left linebacker. We have Devin White still. We have Blake Cashman, and we drafted Shaquille Quartermain. I love some fast middle linebackers. We still got Jordan Jenkins for another three years. Thank God. We got Kendall Fuller. We got Tredavious White. We got Greedy, right? Tredavious, Greedy. I just want to make sure. Bryce Hall is our number four, and we still got Austin there, which... We can always replace next year. We have Jamal Adams. And the biggest question mark right now is going to be Isaiah Simmons to see if he can show up and show out. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like it later. All right, here we go, guys. We are about to jump into week one. I hope you guys loved, loved, loved our re-signings, our free agency, and our draft. I hope you guys support this team as much as you support it in season one because we have high lofty expectations we won our division we got to the championship round now we got to close it out and we have to have to have to get to the super bowl and win it so guys if you have not subscribed yet nail that subscribe button ring that notification bell to keep up on the action because youtube is stupid because i'm saying my my content is not for kids because i cuss a lot so you guys have to come to my channel Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 2 p.m. PST to catch this. Remember, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.